Hi, I'm Farid Islam, the director of Yala Underground, and you're watching me on icflix.com. Um, Yala Underground is a film about uh, young Arab underground artists, alternative artists uh, in the Middle East, in Egypt, in Lebanon, Jordan, uh, Palestine, and uh, Haifa in Israel. And uh, it uh, takes place over uh, a couple of years from 2009 till 2013. I started making the film after having worked in the region for a couple of years and having met uh, artists from different fields uh, which blew me away with, uh, with their music, with their visual arts and also with the social-political content in their work. And I thought it's a great way to show mainly Western audience um, a very different image of young Arabs uh, than uh, what we're used to from, from, from media and news. Uh, what we see in the news in the West about uh, the Middle East and Arab countries is mostly connected to violence, aggression, extremism and so on, uh, which is only a fragment, a fraction in the reality. So I just wanted to show a different image of what's going on and what's life about in here. Oh, basically, I knew from about 11, 12 that I wanted to make films. And I started with music videos and commercials. And uh, after having worked in that field for about 10 years, I realized that I need something a little, little bit more substance, a little bit more meaning. And documentary felt like the fastest way to, to accomplish something like that. Because with this film, for example, most of the time it was me and my cameraman traveling. Um, so you don't need a big team. Uh, you don't need a big budget to create a film that uh, has some sort of impact on the audience and uh, tells real stories. So, but I always knew I wanted to make films. My background, as a kid I, I, and teenager, I was a musician myself, but um, making films was always a passion. And so there, there's no specific point in my life where I decided, I just knew it. I remember reading Frank Miller's Return of the Dark Knight when I was 11. And that's when I think I realized I want to make films. <laughs> so many. Um, I think to me um, the uh, U.S. independence scene from the 90s of the 90s world was very influential um, because I saw that even with low and moderate budgets, you can uh, create amazing films tell amazing stories. Um, so a lot of those 90s films, um, to point out a specific film, hard, it's very hard. I fell in love with Reservoir Dogs um, by Tarantino back in the days. It's very hard to, to point out one or uh, even a couple of films. There's so many, so many great filmmakers. But mostly, mostly U.S. filmmakers, I think. Um, film festivals are necessary because they they show uh, a different uh, kind of film to to the audiences. You get to know films from uh, many different countries you would never get in in, in mainstream distribution. Um, and um, if a film festival is uh, curated well, um, it really can open new horizons to, to the audience. And to me, that's exactly why I always loved film festivals since I was a teenager. Um, just seeing films from different parts of the world, especially in the analog era, in the 90s, where you couldn't just go online and uh, find, find all those films. Uh, it was crucial to, to know what kind of films are being made in other parts of the world than uh, Europe and the US. 
Um, and I think to a certain degree that that is valid even in the dig digital era, um, because you can you can really broaden the horizons of, of your audience. <clears throat> I think the most important thing for a young filmmaker is really to believe in himself, herself, and to not listen too much about how they should approach their films, how they should produce it and so on. And because I think in the, at the end of the day, each filmmaker already knows how the film should be. Um, it's always good to, 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 to know your technical um, uh, foundation, but um, just go and make your films. Don't wait for anybody to come give you money, push you. Um, it's, it takes a lot of work and dedication and just go and make it. I have a couple of projects um, in the pipeline right now. It's, one is my first fiction. We started working on a couple of months ago. Uh, another documentary is set in the Arab world. And uh, hopefully a zombie show. <laughs>